A 5.8 magnitude earthquake shake shook the state of Montana. It was felt shortly after midnight, hitting the state with its strongest quake in a dozen years. The epicenter was located nine kilometers south of Lincoln. That's about five and a half miles. The earthquake was reported at about 12:30 a.m. with several aftershocks. The U.S. Geological Survey says it was felt as far west as Spokane, Washington, and as far east as Billings. The earthquake lasted for upwards of 30 seconds. All right, and we do have MTN reporter Mackenzie Frost standing by this morning with the Lincoln Fire Chief to uh, give us the latest, Mackenzie. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. I am here with Lincoln Rural Fire Chief Zach Mies. Now, Zach, thank you for joining us. Now, what was it like? You were here in Lincoln during the earthquake. Can you describe what it was like? Well, it was a little scary at first. Didn't know what was going on. Um, thought the dogs were doing something, but then once it hit, then it was just trying to gather my thoughts and get out of bed and figure out, you know, if the family safe, <clears throat> the rest of my kids around town are safe, and then uh, start gathering the troops and, you know, get down to the fire hall and uh, see what we can do to help and how bad the damage is. Definitely. Now, we know the sun is up, which means residents may be up trying to assess the damages. What what should they be looking for? What are some red flags? I guess the biggest thing, you know, the propane is going to be the initial, you know, check, but... Uh, you know, any structural damage, anything, you know, trees, um, just those initial, you know, quick check to look for immediate uh, hazards. Um, and then, you know, doing a really good thorough walk around your house and, you know, looking for um, in more in-depth structural damage. Check your water heater, check your furnace, things like that. Um, you know, and as time goes on, you want to, you know, get into your chimney and whatnot. So... So what's next for you and your crew as they make their way back to the station? You guys kind of regroup. What happens next for you guys? Well, we're going to have a meeting with the sheriff's department here in a little bit, um, get a game plan, probably hit the streets and go out and looking for any damage that we can see. Um, we did a quick run through the valley, um, checking on people we couldn't get a hold of earlier, uh, making sure everybody was all right. But now we're going to, you know, probably check the bridges, you know, the roads, make sure everybody can get in and out. Um, the roads are safe to travel on. Um, helping people if they need it, you know, with their, if they do find issues with their propane or, you know, whatever damages they have. Um, just being out there if someone needs us. Perfect. Any last safety tips for anyone? Just be careful if you think it's a hazard, you know, and dangerous, get a hold of us, call 911. We'd be glad to come out there and check. Better safe than sorry. Um, uh, as the temperatures start dropping and whatnot, really be careful with those chimneys because you knock them out of alignment just a little bit and, you know, flame can get where it's not supposed to be. So um, you got to think a little bit deeper and, you know, outside the box to what else could be damaged. So Definitely. All right. Thank you, Zach, for that. And we'll continue to monitor the situation in Lincoln throughout the morning and throughout the day. For now, live in Lincoln, Mackenzie Frost, MTN News. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. And viewers from across the state called into the station saying they felt the shake. One MTN viewer in Butte sent out the following Snapchat where you can hear windows rattling. Take a listen. Dude, we just, we just had an earthquake. What the and several aftershocks were reported as well. The initial quake is classified as moderate with light damage and strong shaking. Robert Sanders, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey, says there may be more aftershocks to come. Had a number of mid four and greater aftershocks from this event. Um, so anybody in the in the region can expect to experience larger aftershocks uh, well into the early morning. And some people were awake while others were asleep when the quake struck. This is what people felt in Missoula. As previously reported, the earthquake began at 12.38 a.m. with an epicenter five and a half miles southeast of Lincoln. Here in Missoula, it felt to some like an unpleasant boat ride. Yeah, yeah, it really felt like just my vertigo was off and I was dizzy and walking to the, the bartenders, I was, I, I just felt like something was off. <laughs> at first, Martin and her friends didn't believe they were caught in the middle of an earthquake. The bartender was like, whoa, we just had an earthquake. And I was like, wait a second, you guys are messing with us, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> this was the first earthquake Sam Soskin felt. He said the experience left him shaken, but exhilarated. Yeah, this earthquake, that was crazy. I've been living in Montana for like 10 years. I've never felt anything like that. Christopher Wollington was sitting in his room on the third floor of the Copper Run apartment complex when the quake struck. And I felt it, felt my room shake a little bit. I got really concerned because I haven't felt an earthquake in a really long time. And then my fan almost fell over and then my dad rushed, rushed into my room and was like, did you feel that? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, that's an earthquake. We need to get out of here right now. His father insisted they leave the apartment to avoid getting caught in any aftershocks. We want to be on a third floor and possibly have a building fall down. In Missoula, Eric Clements, MTN News. So how rare is an earthquake of this size? According to the Michigan Tech Upsize website, there's an estimated 500, 5.5 to 6 point magnitude earthquakes recorded every year. An earthquake of this size has the ability to cause slight damage to buildings and other structures.